Hey everybody, it's David with Get Found Marketing, and today I want to talk about something that affects every last website owner. I don't care if you have a blog, an e-commerce site, a portfolio site, no matter what site you have, this affects you. And what is it? Well, it's really simple. It's an SSL certificate. So what is this SSL stuff? Well, SSL is also known as a secure socket layer. And what that is, is really a digital signature from one computer to another computer, okay? And it digitally signs itself saying, hey, I am where I am. It's very helpful for securing data you know, between computers, file transfers, uh, credit card processing. In fact, it's required if you have an e-commerce site and you're using credit card processing uh, as per PCI compliance uh, to secure all the data that's going through, you need to have an SSL. And most of all, this is the biggest kicker. And if you guys didn't know this already, um, it was one of the ranking signals for Google. So one of the many ranking signals in regards to SEO, one of the things where you kind of got a little bump if you had an SSL site. But as of July of 2018, you are screwed if you do not have an SSL certificate, okay? And we're gonna go over, again, there's three types of SSLs, domain SSL, uh, organization verified SSL, and another thing called extended verification or EV SSL. So let's take it from the top of what the domain SSL is. So as you would think, a domain validation SSL is exactly what it sounds like. It's a domain level and the lowest form of validation. Okay, it's verified uh, through the authority of VeriSign or anybody else who's maybe uh, issuing the certificate. And basically what they do is they check the who is verification and anybody who has a, uh, a private or a proxy or hidden uh, uh, DNS information or domain information, you're not gonna really be able to get an SSL at the domain level if you don't have it because they need to verify it. So they're gonna verify your name, uh, make sure that the domain registers to you and maybe even your phone number. So you're gonna have to get some verification Okay, uh, it's very little money to get this type of SSL. It's just like, hey, I got to do it. This is what I'm going to do. Here you go. Here's the SSL. Okay. Um, and now you'll see uh, if you get that installed at the server level, which if you don't know how to do it, I suggest you get uh, one of your developers to do it or, you know, we can always do it for you. Um, if you click on the corner in the browser bar, you'll see SSL. And a lot of times it's color coded and you'll see that it's like a green and uh, that means that you are on an SSL site. Again, if you do not have an SSL certificate on your site by the end of July, most likely, but even before the end of July, you're going to have a warning from Chrome 68. Now, Chrome is obviously a very popular browser. Lots of people use it. You're gonna be screwing yourself if you do not update your site accordingly and get this SSL certified. It's just gonna help you overall and people are gonna feel more trustworthy with you. So next one is the organization validated SSL certificate. Okay, it's a little more advanced. So organization validations are usually reserved for uh, companies that are either e-commerce or media companies, something uh, of a, a larger stature to kind of vet uh, for instance, you know, if you're in a Kaiser site or you're in a Disney site, it just really kind of gives you that credibility there. And uh, of course, it's also going to help you with your SEO because Chrome 68 isn't going to block you. <laughs> so let's talk about a little bit about what that EV or extended validation. Now, that's the most hardcore, well, we got to say hardcore, but uh, the most due diligence that the certificate issuer, issuer uh, will actually tell you, uh, we'll, we'll go through. So it actually takes a few days to get. Um, and it's the most strict, okay? So what happens is that they validate the ownership of the domain, the organization information, the physical location, uh, the legal existence of the company. They may even ask you to uh, fax over paperwork regarding your business organization. It's almost like opening a bank account. There's a, actually a lot of details involved in the EV extended validation uh, certificate, but it is the most secure and they're backing it. And again, it's great for PCI compliance it's great to get out, you know, and tell the world, hey, listen, we are who we are. You're at the right place. So because that's what happens a lot of the spammers, if you get an email and it says, hey, click on this link and they go to a website, or maybe it looks like their site, but it don't see the EV validation because you can actually verify yourself 
uh, the validation of a certificate by left clicking um, on the address bar. You'll see the drop down and you'll see if it's EV, uh, you'll see the organization information and who certifies it. And a lot of the time, this is what really protects you as a user. And now with all these you know, compliance uh, things with um, the UK and uh, we have you know, a lot of the cookie stuff and Facebook and all this craziness now that's in the internet, um, you know, getting SSL is more important than ever. Which one's right for you? Well, um, it really depends. Um, I can't really explain that in this video because everybody's need is a little different, but if you click on the video description link uh, and you go over to the article over the getfoundmarketing.org, you'll actually learn a little bit more about what's right for you. And don't go crazy. Listen, the EV ones are really, really expensive, but you may not even need that. You know, uh, Find out what you need on your site by going to our site. Okay. Well, thanks so much, guys. Hopefully that's kind of clarified the world of SSLs. Um, just know that you really need it. If you want to know about more about web development, marketing, design, all the awesome stuff that you need to conquer the internet one site at a time, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And most of all, don't forget to tune on to our next video because you're going to learn lots of cool stuff. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, in regards to uh, the so the SSL, fucking this social social security layer. <laughs> Excuse me.